YouTube, did you miss me? It's your guy, Mr. DCYLP. What's goody though? What's going on out there? What y'all been up to? Yo, everything good? I hope everything good. You see me in that fresh uh, me frosty crew neck. If you want one of these crew neck me frosty sweatshirts, y'all know what to do. Hit that link down below. Go on the website and copy you. I'm saying a fresh me frosty crew neck. You know what I'm saying? Support your boy. All right, let's get right into this new video. All right, so Pete, not too long ago, um, the wife had one out and caught me, you know, a little basic all black uh, sweatshirt. But I never wore that joint. It still got the tags on it. And um, I just stumbled upon it recently. And um, I like it, y'all. I like the quality of it. I like the quality of it. Um, it's actually from Target. Uh, you know, the, 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 the ladies love Target. They call that shit Target. They love it. And, um, I'm kind of feeling the, um, kind of feeling the hoodie. Um, before I show y'all the hoodie, um, I'm gonna, uh, most likely I'll try to pip in right around here somewhere. Not too long ago, I, I made a video talking about Target's, uh, t-shirts. Um, and I, like I said, I feel like they got like the best, you know, t-shirts like in the game. If you need like a good quality, uh, undergarment t-shirt, man, Target got them, man. The name of the brand is Goodfellow. All right. And I got a Goodfellow hoodie today. I'm going to be showing y'all. All right. Now, before this video ends, y'all know what to do. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you hit that bell notification, all right, so you don't never miss anything, okay? Now, get right back into it. This is just a basic black good fellow hoodie from Target. All right, now, I just so happened, because I picked up and I felt it. I said, man, you know, this is real pretty good. Maybe I'll wear it one day. Or maybe I print on it. I don't know. I might just leave it blank. And um, I just like the way that, you know, it felt. Um, it's uh, It says it's an ultra soft fleece hoodie. Let me bring it in close so you guys can check this joint out. $25 sticker on that joint. Ultra soft. Yeah, you can see that now. It says that it was made in Bangladesh, y'all. So that's South Asia, Bangladesh. Now, and this is just a normal garment tag that it comes with. It says Bangladesh right there as well. Let me see. If I can get you guys the specs as far as the materials. Algodon polyester blend. 55% algodon. 45% polyester spandex. All right. There's the target tag right there like I was saying man these joints is pretty soft man <laughs> straight up so you can like you can like layer this joint with like a flight jacket or something like that or if you got like a military jacket and be somewhat stylish or flavorful uh the only thing I don't like about it is I don't like the big uh flat chunky uh jaw drawstrings on it um, I don't, I don't like, I don't like those type of strings for my brand per se, but like if I'm just wearing this like around, it's like whatever, or I could just pull them off, pull them out and just put something else in there, but feel wise and, um, comfortability, uh, comfortability, I think is, um, pretty decent. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this joint on real quick for y'all. Um, but yeah, uh. Speaking of uh, Bangladesh, it's weird because outside of China, you know, Bangladesh is one of, is like the biggest, you know, uh, 
manufacturing um, area out there right now. Like when you think of brands like um, uh, Calvin Klein gets a lot of their products made over in Bangladesh. Um, if any of you guys out there shop at um, H&M, H&M get a lot of their stuff manufactured in um, Bangladesh as well. And um, not that I'm an expert at all, guys. I just pay attention and do my research because when I'm shopping for things, you know, I like to look at the garments, tags, and, you know, uh, research a few things. So that's the only reason, you know, I'm able to provide you guys with this type of information. And, I, and like I always say on this channel in the past, if you're ever looking for something, man, you're spending your goddamn money on this shit anyways. Grab the tags, look where it's manufactured at, you know, so you know what you're spending your money on. And if, um, you know, there's something out there that you really like. And you um and you are ready to dump like you know a bunch of money into your brand and give you like a starting point of you know certain area you can look at for like manufacturing you know what I'm saying because I know some people like to get their joints manufactured in Pakistan China now you can go with Bangladesh or the United States it's up to you it's your money do what you want to do with your own money. Choose your own path. Ooh, 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 ooh. see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like how I threw that plug in there for my own joint. Choose your own path. That's what it's all about. Do what's right for you and your pockets, like I always say. All right, but um, let me try this joint on for y'all real quick so y'all can see how it look on body. Um, I'm a big fat dude, so I left my measurements down there in the description below. So can actually see how it looks on me up top if you like around the same size as me and you feel like going to target and copping one of these joints if you need something to throw on real quick or if you want to test it out you know and screen print it or put some embroidery on it or put some or apply some um some vinyl or you know get some plastic salt transfers it's up to you yo the world is yours all right give me a minute all right so i'm rocking this uh this 2x like i showed y'all Hood feels real nice. I got this hat on and, you know, pretty much, you know, covers my whole face. It gets a little chilly out. Nice and warm. Nice roomy pocket down below. If you want to put anything in there. I mean, I don't put anything in the pouch pocket of my hoodies when I'm wearing them. You know, I just, just throw my hands in there, you know. To get to get comfortable, wristbands feel real comfortable and nice. Not too baggy on the on the sleeves. Everything is real comfortable. I'll just take the hood down. I ain't take the tag off it. I don't know why I'm just acting crazy. Yeah, so that's down. Like I said, if you wanted to layer it, I feel like it's. It's thin enough and it's not too thick where you can layer this joint up if you want to wear like a blazer over it or like a um or like I said like a bomber jacket or something like that or a bubble. It's still it's you'll still be like wow comfortable, you know, with you know the jacket either open or closed. Um Yeah, so I'm feeling this joint. Y'all let me know what y'all think. If you have uh experience, if you if you ever purchase any of these um hoodies. From Target by the brand called um, Goodfellow. Let me know what you think about that Goodfellow brand. Leave it in the comments below. You know what I'm saying we could chat it up. But um, as far as I'm concerned with this particular hoodie, would I cop again? Mm -hmm. It all depends. You know, if, you know, if it was given to me as a gift, of course. I like hoodies. I love hoodies. I built my, I built my brand off of hoodies. As far as me using them as a blank, maybe I could potentially, uh, you know, use them as a blank if I didn't have um, the means to get anything else readily accessible or what have you. But this joint feel, feel but this joint feels pretty good, y'all. I'm not even going front compared to you know this other style of hoodie that I use for my actual brand. Something like this. 
It's like real thick and heavy. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people um, might not like this style of hoodie because it's actually so heavy. All right. It all depends it's on. It's all about personal preference. You know what I'm saying? So. But um, like I was saying, let's chat it up. Y'all let me know what y'all think about, you know, this uh, this style of hoodie. Uh, if you like the, uh, the thinner hoodies, the more um, relaxed hoodie or, you know, the thicker hoodies. What's, what's, you, what's your style or what's your preference? Leave it down below. Let's talk about it. But that's going to be it for this one uh, before I end this video. You already know I got to plug in my... Uh, my Patreon, shout out to my Patreon people. And y'all always know I got to shout out one of my sponsors. And that is Kettle One Vodka. Let's get right into that. Yeah. Alright y'all, so like I was saying, I hope you're working hard on your brand. <laughs> um, As always, I get like a lot of questions in my DMs. You know, I try to answer everything. Some of the stuff I don't. Some of the stuff I can't get to, hey, it just is what it is. But I, I try to be, you know, uh, as knowledgeable as I can and help you guys as I can in my DM. So, all right, that's pretty much it for this one, y'all. Shout out to Goodfellow. Until next time. Let's get it. The message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit. Basically, pay attention, stay alert, and remember, choose your own path.